When you're paying more than 50 percent, you're barely surviving. It's not that you're giving up once, it's that you can't fulfill your basic needs. She's talking about housing costs. Amy Regal with the Coalition of Homelessness and Housing here in Ohio says a recent report shows a shortage of 267,000 affordable housing units for extremely low income Ohioans. That means only 40 units are available for every 100 of them. Thanks for sticking with us at 530. I'm Andrew Kinsey and I'm Angela and creating enough affordable housing for low income Ohioans is just one part of a bigger issue that state lawmakers are trying to fix. 10 TV political reporter Doug Petcash is live at the state house now with what's in the works this week. Doug. Well, Angela, I'll tell you, anyone looking to, to buy or rent right now knows just how high the costs are, and the same goes for many others just trying to stay in their homes. Affordable housing has been a big topic here at the State House for a long time now, and this week we're getting some possible solutions. In the State House atrium at the Faith Leaders Legislative Lunch on Finding Affordable Housing Solutions, PJ Jackson shared her story. In 2012, I found myself she knows how hard and how expensive it is to find a home and says she got lucky. To be honest, it was blessings. Um, I met a um, case manager who um, worked for, with veterans. So I'm a veteran and she helped me get housing. Jackson now works for the nonprofit Community Development for All People, helping others facing similar challenges. Some people, their rent is $1,100, um, $1,500 for a two bedroom. It's just really crazy. Lawmakers are working on it too. An hour before today's legislative lunch, state representatives Adam Matthews and Dunny Isaacson introduced their bill. It would create a new housing fund local governments could tap into if they adopt certain pro-housing policies, such as reducing single-family zoning, adding density bonuses, and speeding up the permitting process. That will bolster supply, strengthen home ownership, and help keep tenants in their homes. To empower the American dream, we need to build more housing. For months, members of the Senate Select Committee on Housing have been traveling the state, hearing testimony, and working to find solutions to the housing crisis. State Senator Herschel Craig of Columbus says they're putting together an array of bills. Some of them with long-term implications, some with very short-term uh, that we needed to do with some sense of uh, immediacy. With her full-time job, P.J. Jackson is taking her next step. She says she's getting ready to leave subsidized housing. I just feel like somebody else could use the Section 8 more than me. And I work at a great place, so I feel supported. The Senate Select Committee on Housing will release its findings and recommendations in a news conference tomorrow morning. We'll be there to let you know what they came up with. Live at the State House, Doug Petcash, 10 TV9.